Well, good morning, children. Aloha kako. Ohayou gozaimasu. It's so wonderful to see all of you today. How are you feeling? Oh, that's great. Let me put on my magic glasses and see who's here this morning. Oh, my goodness. Look, there's Jai and Aisen and Cruz and Tide and Melody and Cadence and Wesley, Sierra, Lindsay and Kenneth and Micah, Emmy and Kaya and Lena and Kabe and Maddie and Meleana and Lily Noy and Cora and Nolan and Tori and Benji and I also see Kalena and Tyrus and so many other wonderful children from around the world. Hello children, good morning. I can also see our Dharma school teachers. Um, look, there's uh, Miss Sharon and then there's also Miss Karen over there. Hi, good morning, thanks for coming. Thank you for joining us. Oh, someone's at the door. Do you think that could be our special guest today? Let me go see. Well, good morning, and how are you today? Thank you so much for coming. Good morning, children. How are you? Look, it's me. It's Nekobus. Hello. Good morning. So look, children, it's the Neko bus. It's Totoro's friend. Do you remember this in the story? Yeah, Sensei was kind of, oh, well, that's kind of spooky. It's like, it's a, it's a cat bus. It's a Neko bus. And look, there's little mice riding on top. I thought that was really cute. Can you see that? Very good. Well, thank you so much for coming today. It's my pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Well, because today's story is called The Seven Blind Mice. Do you know this story? Yes, I do. It's a wonderful story. I think the children are going to love it. Well, great. Thank you very much. Let's read the story together. So today's story is Seven Blind Mice by Ed Young. One day, seven blind mice were surprised to find a strange something by their pond. What is it? They cried, and they all ran home. On Monday, red mouse went first to find out. It's a pillar, he said. No one believed him. On Tuesday, Green Mouse set out. He was the second to go. It's a snake, he said. No, said Yellow Mouse on Wednesday. It's a spear. He was the third in turn. The fourth was Purple Mouse. He went on Thursday. It's a great cliff, he said. Orange Mouse went on Friday, and he was the fifth to go. It's a fan, he cried. I felt it move. The sixth to go was Blue Mouse. He went on Saturday and said, it's nothing but a rope. But the others didn't agree. They began to argue. A snake, a rope, a fan, a cliff. Until on Sunday, White Mouse, the seventh mouse, went to the pond. When she came upon the something, she ran up one side and she ran down the other. And she ran across the top and from end to end. Ah, 
said White Mouse. Now I see the something is as sturdy as a pillar, supple as a snake, wide as a cliff, sharp as a spear, and breezy as a fan, and stringy as a rope. But altogether, the something is an elephant. And when the other mice ran up one side down the other, across the something from end to end, they agreed. Now they saw two. The mouse moral. Knowing in part may be a fine tale, but wisdom comes from seeing the whole. The end. So what does this story teach us? Well, it teaches us that we are stronger together than apart. Right? So each of the seven mice, even though they are blind, right, which means they cannot see, so they have to rely on their other senses, so touch and hearing and smell and taste. And the sixth sense, the mind, our imagination. You know? So individually, they all saw different things. They all saw different things. But put together, right, they saw the elephant. They saw the whole thing. So, for example, if you look at the Sagadi Fuji, the, the crest of the Honganji, right, so some people will see black and white, and other people will see white on black. And still other people will see purple. But if each of us looks very carefully, just as ourselves, we will all see a rainbow. So when we contribute all of our different perspectives and we work together, we can see rainbows and together we become the rainbow. And so for me, I think that was the story of the seven blind mice, that they're all seven, they're different colors, they can't see, and yet they can each perceive one part of the elephant. So it's like a snake or like a rope or a fan um, or a pillar, the legs. If you've ever seen an elephant's legs, they look like big pillars. Um, so each one of them individually saw something different, but put together, they were able to see the whole. So the lesson, of course, is that we should all be good friends and we should help each other and we can all see the whole. We can see the elephant. We can see a rainbow. So that's the story for today. And what did you think of the story, Nakobas? I like the story, Sensei. It's always fun to see at the end. It's an elephant. So did you look at me? What do I look like? Do I look like a cat? Neko means cat in Japanese. Or do I look like a bus? Yeah. Or how about the, the, the mice sitting on top of me? Isn't that kind of cute? So anyway, so that was the story of seven blind mice. And our special guest today was the Neko bus. So Nekobas, thank you very much for coming all the way from Totoro's Magic Forest. Say hello to Totoro for us. Um, and we thank you and hope to see you again soon. Okay. So thank you, children. Bye-bye.